Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Enoch Poor. Enoch Poor is a name you'll run into a lot if you're studying American Revolutionary history, especially if you're studying the war itself in the Northern Department during the first half of the war. And the reason for this goes as such, Enoch Poor, when the American Revolution broke out, was one of just three people from New Hampshire appointed as a colonel to lead an entire company of men, an entire regiment of men, I should say, down to Boston to help out with the siege, uh, after which he participated in the Battle of Bunker Hill and several battles in the Northeast. And the, one of the reasons it seems that he was given this position is he was still only in his 30s, but a decade earlier, he had gained great experience during the Seven Years' War, or as we call it in America, the French and Indian War. Because of this, he was sent to join Richard Montgomery and Philip Schuyler's invasion of Canada, probably because he had so much experience uh, fighting in Canada during the Seven Years' War. He's an important member of this expedition and continues to be an important member of the Northern Department and is quickly promoted to Brigadier General, which again is one of the highest ranks you're going to achieve in the Continental Army. It's in this position that he goes and joins the uh, Saratoga Campaign in the Battle of Saratoga. And he's extraordinarily important in the Battle of Saratoga. Uh, he helps Daniel Morgan's men uh, in the first day of the first battles hold the British off from the left from breaking through the American lines. On the second day, He's at the center of the action and actually has his men wait to fire until the British are, get close enough to start charging with their bayonets, at which, points he order, at which point he orders to fire and just takes out a whole slew of uh, redcoats who are not too happy about this, but it's, it's a very important moment in arguably the most important battle of the American Revolutionary War. The following year, uh, he would join the Sullivan-Clinton campaign, which went through upstate New York and essentially eliminated the Iroquois Native American tribes uh, from fighting anymore. They would still participate, but pretty much burned down all their villages and most of their crops. After this, things get a little bit mysterious for our friend Enoch Poor. You see, he dies suddenly. Now, the coroner report does say that Enoch Poor got typhoid and died of that disease two days later. However, there are certain historians who speculate that his cause of death may not have been disease. It may have been a gunshot. In fact, it seems that many of Poor's soldiers were not happy that they had to march when they were exhausted from days of marching. And there is a claim out there that one of Enoch Poor's lower-ranking officers was so upset he challenged Poor to a duel. Now, duel uh, uh, Poor, a man of honor, as the story goes... Uh, accepted the duel, and apparently lost it. The reason this is controversial is, first of all, dueling was outlawed in the Continental Army. Uh, Washington would have been very upset that it was happening in the first place, and it would have made not just the Army look bad, but George Washington look bad that his brigadier generals were disobeying orders. That being said, uh, there is no real way to confirm either way. Each side... One side has the coroner report, which generally we like to believe historically, but the other side is arguing that there are several signs pointing to this duel and that it may have been a cover-up uh, which might go to the top itself, to George Washington. Now, I don't necessarily believe that. Uh, personally, I, I stick with the coroner report because those are the documents we have that are really there, but there there are actually books written on... Uh, Enoch Poor, I should say studies that have been written on Enoch Poor and this duel that may or may not have happened. If you like conspiracies, I'd suggest reading up a little bit on Enoch Poor and the conspiracy. I gave you the general outline. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it is extremely interesting, and I thought I'd talk about it today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is hopefully the last video I will be shooting on my phone because this finally came in the mail today. Uh, it's my new webcam. I can pair it with all the other stuff I had purchased, improve these videos, and make them picture perfect just for you. If you want to support the site and help me pay off some of uh, these expenses, check out my Patreon link down below. I would really appreciate any support, and I would love it if you could hit like on your way out. Thank you again, and I'll be back with a new founder and maybe new camera on Monday.